Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to exclude a column from a data frame in R. So before we start let's take a look at a simple data frame. I'm going to load in a file called 63 underscore data underscore file dot CSV into my R environment. This sample file plus this R script and all sample files and R scripts for this series of videos are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that and the information area underneath the video uh, on the YouTube page. So I'm going to read this file in and I'm going to uh, store it in a data frame called weather. Okay, so let me run this. I'm going to print the output here and show you what this file contains. So this contains uh, data uh, which I've downloaded from weather.com and stored in the 63 data file. And it contains uh, actual dates for high temperature, low temperature and conditions on 10 days in April in 2021 for, for Dublin where I live in Ireland. So I've read this in and I've displayed it out and what I'd like to be able to do is uh, remove one of the columns. So you might want to do this from time to time just to pare data sets down uh, or ignore particular columns of data. So I'm going to remove the conditions column here. So I just want to keep some of the numeric values. So the way I do this is I'm going to use the subset function to update the weather data frame. So weather assignment operator and the subset function. So if you want to find out more information about the subset function, you can go to the help area, type in subset, and it will give you some information about the, the subset function, how it's used and so on. This is particularly useful when you are doing this for the first time. So inside the subset function, uh, I need to tell it what the data frame is, so it's called weather. So that's the first thing I'll tell it, that's the first parameter. And secondly then, I want to tell it to select which column for removal. So the select parameter does that. Select equals, in this case I use the minus sign and then very very carefully spell out the word conditions or the name of the column exactly as it is shown. So any change in upper or lower case or any kind of a typo will ensure that this will not work. So I'm typing in conditions here. So this is going to, I'm going to re-update my weather um, da um, data frame using the subset function. So I'm taking the original data frame called weather and now I'm selecting the column conditions for removal. So let's run this. I'm going to print out the weather data frame again. So let's run line eight. And we can see that the conditions column has been removed. If I scroll up and down here between the two outputs, you can see the first output conditions is present and in the second output it is not present. If I want to remove another column, that's also quite simple. Let me just copy down these two lines copy and paste. And this time I'm going to remove another column and I'm going to remove the date column here. So again, I'm going to put this in and I'm going to put in a deliberate error here. So minus dates in plural, just to see what happens. So if I run this, you'll see I'm going to get an error message. So the um, variable name must be exactly as is, uh, as it is in the data set or in the data frame. So I'm going to update this. So take out the S uh, minus capital D A T E. So run that print weather again and you'll see that now the date column has also been removed. So you may well want to do this on many occasions when you are doing your data analysis uh, just to concentrate on say for example as I have done here on numeric data and now I've got a data set that I can do some calculations on uh, excluding columns that I don't need. So that's how you exclude a column or columns in a, da a data frame in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.